a big homecoming win. We take a look at a different kind of RHS athlete. And homecoming royalty are crowned. All, all today, today on On, on the, the Air. air. I'm your host, Big Al. And I'm your co-host, Max. We cover all of our RHS sports team in our Red Devil Sports Report, but there are some athletes who excel in sports that aren't a part of our high school. Here's one RHS student who excels in bicycle motocross. Do you know Dylan Seal? Do you also know that he's a nationally ranked BMX cyclist? And here's what BMX is. You basically race against eight different riders on a dirt track. It's a one lap race and you just sprint to the finish line. Two years ago, I got third at the national championship. So hopefully I can repeat that this year and get a win. I have a few different bike company sponsors that give me different products, do different things for me, help support me. So this weekend, I'd like to take the state title and then uh, I'm going to Oklahoma in November. I'm going to try and get the national title there. Shout out to Joey Kinley. Follow me on Instagram. I'm Joey Kinley for On the Air. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks for that report, Joey. And just to update you, Dylan won the state championship over the weekend. On Friday night, 10 RHS students were also hoping to win homecoming king and queen. Ladies and gentlemen, first, the 2016 homecoming king, Eddie May. Congratulations, Eddie and Avery. Now let's take a look at some announcements. It's College Go Week, and that's where we start with your chance to win and get some useful tips for seniors planning on going to college next year. Our first tip this week is for all seniors planning on attending college next fall. You can either apply online at college website or apply with a paper application. Most colleges have an application fee of $25 to $55. If you are a 21st century scholar or on free reduced lunches, you are eligible for a free waiver. It is very important that you apply to colleges early in this fall. Also, tell your counselor if you apply to a college during College Go Week. This week and your name will be submitted for daily drawings for college related items such as t-shirts and book bags. Purdue Polytechnic on IU East campus is having a tailgate party for College Go Week this Thursday from 4.30 to 6.30 on the Tom Raper Plaza at IU East. You can learn more about their programs, enjoy free food, and win some Purdue prizes. You can also win tickets to Kings Island Halloween Haunt and apply to Purdue Polytechnics and they'll have the application fee. For more information, see your counselor. And this Thursday is Red Wolves Day at IU East. Seniors can find some more about IU East, see campus, meet professors, and more. There will be free food, t-shirts, prizes, and lots of fun. You must sign up with the IU East representatives here at RHS. If you didn't sign up with them yet, your last chance is today during all three lunches. The Creative Writing Club will hold its first meeting this Wednesday, right after school in Miss Winter's room 
L109. Anyone is welcome to attend. They will discuss exciting opportunities available to, available to members this year. Early college students campus visits start early in October. That's next week. Make sure you get your permission forms in by date listed. Freshman forms are due this Friday, September 30th. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors are all due on October 7th. Don't forget the GSA meets every Thursday after school in room L113. Stop by if you'd like to get involved. The next host of full team meeting is this Wednesday from 3.30 to 4.15 p.m. in Ms. Hisrick's room, R160. This is the last chance to join HOSA. Officers will be announced and membership forms distributed. It's that time of year again. School pictures will be taken on Friday, October 7th. Look for more information on a future show. One last announcement. A reminder to all speech team members that there will be practice today after school in Mr. Swingo's room. Also, please remember that parent night is tomorrow from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Please remind your parents or guardians to attend. That's all the announcements. Now back to you guys in the studio. Fall might make it here quicker than we first thought. Let's get a closer look in today's Red Devil forecast. Get ready for the cool down because fall has finally caught up with us and we'll feel it over the next few days. The rain this morning will come to an end later in the day. We won't see a break in the clouds until tomorrow when the sun will come back, but the heat won't. Highs today will only reach the upper 60s with the rain and clouds. Overnight, things will cool off quite a bit with lows falling into the upper 40s. For Tuesday, we'll finally see a beautiful fall day with a high right around 70 under sunny skies. Overnight into Wednesday, it will get even cooler with lows into the mid 40s. High on Wednesdays are looking even cooler, so make sure that you're with us to see how long we'll get to enjoy this cooler weather. That's your weather. Back to you guys in the studio. RHS football with a big win, girls golf close out their season, and girls soccer earns a third place finish. It's time for some Red Devil sports. RHS football was waiting to break out with their offense and it came on Friday night. And girls golf closes out with their season at the regionals, which is where we start. Girls golf competed in the regional in Anderson on Saturday and fought hard with a 14th place finish. Carissa Owens once again led RHS with an 82. With a very young team, the future looks bright for the Lady Red Devils as they look to push even further next year. On Friday night, RHS Red Devil football closed out homecoming week with a big win over Logan Sport. RHS had their offense in high gear, putting 56 points up on the berries behind a big night from both Thomas Stanley and Ron Sanders, each with three touchdowns for the night. Sanders ran for all three of his, while Stanley caught two and returned to punt for his third. Sanders had 135 yards on only 13 carries. Austin Bain was 12-18 through air for 210 yards while Stanley benefiting the most with eight catches for 167 yards. Next up for RHS is a road trip to Lafayette Jefferson this Friday. Girls soccer competed in the NCC tournament this weekend. The ladies went in with the number two seed in the East and lived up to their seed taking third place overall. RHS started out with number one seed in the West, McCutcheon, and fought hard but fell 3-1. In the third place game, RHS got revenge on Marion and sealed their third place finish. As we wrap up sports, we want to congratulate Ryan Hollingsworth and Peyton Van Middlesworth for earning PalItem.com's Athlete of the Week in their sports. Ryan is 19-0 for the RHS boys tennis team, and Peyton had three goals in as many matches last week for the Lady Red Devil soccer team. Great job and good luck to on the rest of your guys' seasons. Now that's sports. Make sure you stay with us for highlights from Friday's football game at the end of our show. Have a great day. We promised you a look at some of the highlights from Friday. So here they are and have a great day.